I want to welcome you all. Uh, thank you for coming to, to TechCon. This is the 12th time uh, we've run TechCon, and every year it gets big, bigger and bigger, uh, thanks to the participation of, of all of you uh, who really do make this uh, a special event. Um, so 25 years is a, is a great milestone for ARM as a company, uh, but more importantly, it's a fantastic milestone uh, for this partnership. Uh, between us, uh, we have delivered some fantastic innovation, uh, but that innovation coupled with uh, the connections between us, uh, the cooperation, uh, the collaboration has really helped deliver some fantastic technology and enabled all sorts of consumer devices and enterprise devices which allow us to lead the lives that we do today. If you go back about 500 years, uh, you see that Leonardo da Vinci was thinking about the connections between devices, and perhaps here he was kind of anticipating what was to come by way of, of the Internet or even uh, the Internet of Things. Now, cost still matters, and it was kind of fun to think about uh, over a 25-year period um, how cost has really uh, impacted the consumer electronic devices that we have today. Uh, and as a kind of uh, uh, entertaining exercise, we went and looked back at what would it have cost 25 years ago to build a smartphone, which today, you know, you can basically get for free at point of sale, obviously with contract, but smartphones are essentially free. And when you look at the price of putting in non-volatile memory, uh, a couple of billion transistors to build an application processor, um, high bandwidth communications, um, to put all that functionality in your pocket 25 years ago, would have cost about three and a half million dollars. How has integration of functionality really changed? Uh, and amusingly, we found uh, this advert, um, which was a Radio Shack advert from 1990, um, showing off in a newspaper, remember those, um, all the, the cool products of the day that you might want to go out and buy. Um, and, it, and you look it up, and it's a 20 memory speed dial phone. Uh, the best answer, phone answerer, it was described as, that, you, that they have ever sold. And you look at those uh, products, you add it all up, there's about $3,000 worth of kit there, uh, which in today's terms is worth probably about $5,500, all of which, pretty much, you've now got in your smartphone. Uh, the ecosystems, uh, which are ever expanding, are going to become really, really important. As we think about all the myriad of, of ways in which uh, IoT can be deployed, um, you know, I think back to the, those three principles, and I think we can see them kind of loud and clear. Um, the first one about standards, really important, um, that as we put the I in the IoT, in the Internet of Things, uh, the connectivity is vital, whether it's through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or LTE. There are lots of standards that are going to be needed. Um, and then protocol stacks need to run on top of those to allow communication to happen uh, so that we can really put that data uh, to best use and so the devices can work together. Um, and finally, um, it's about partnership. If, if uh, one thing has been uh, crystal clear to me over my time at ARM, it's that there is no one company that can solve all of these problems. It's going to require a lot of collaboration, more connections between us, as I've been discussing. Um, it's only going to be through that, that continued collaboration that we will get these things right. 